What's up guys, my name is Dan Crook. I'm here with RBMX to tell you some technical data about my network frame. So my bike's a little bit beat up, but Grant is about to build up a fresh one. Let's go check it out. What is Grant doing right now, Dan? Uh, he's wearing the same shirt as me. Well, he's actually putting on my uh, signature gooseneck stem from We The People. It's a shorter and taller stem than most. It has 48 millimeter reach, 35 millimeter rise. It has a shark tooth clamping system. The face plate has little grooves in it, making it so your bars can't really slip. They say it takes a bite out of your bars, you know, clamps them that good. And it really works because my bars have never slipped and I'm pretty uh, serious about my angle. So I'm glad that they uh, added that feature and it works really well. For the front end of the network frame, we went with a 75.75 uh, .75 head tube angle, which is pretty steep. It's really good for front end tricks, nose manuals, G-turns. And next to the head tube, we have the Hydroform gussets, which are a proven gusset that I've found works amazing. It just makes uh, more surface area for a weld to sit on, and there's no gusset that's welded to it, which that would create a weak point because of the heat. So this makes it way stronger. And for the design of the head tube, I actually wanted the larger cup there because I felt like it flowed with the larger gusset on the bottom and the smaller one on the top. So it kind of made it look aesthetically more pleasing, something different. Uh, the reason we went with an invest casted wishbone is because when you get to such a short rear end like this, tire clearance becomes an issue because there's not a lot of space back here. So with this, you actually can run a 2.5 tire and have plenty of clearance even when it's slammed. And also it creates a stronger junction because that's another problem with short frames. Just having normal tubes, there's not a lot of room for a strong weld. So having this kind of acts like a wishbone in a way, but it's such a solid weld around this one piece and it's super strong, makes your frame feel so stiff. Even paired up with that, they went with the invest casted seat stay wishbone as well to make it look even more clean. And I think they nailed it on that. So one big thing I made sure to do with this frame was uh, have smaller dropouts. So when you slam your wheel, the peg kind of sits past it a little bit so the dropout doesn't stick out. And that's the best for grinds and stuff. There's no resistance for grinding. So these dropouts are a little uh, CNC machined on the inside. Uh, just make them a little bit lighter, but they're still strong because the weight savings are kind of just in places where the strength doesn't need to be. It's got a lifetime warranty too. You're never gonna break it, but even if you did, they'll hook you up. We the people nailed it with the design of this frame with my help, of course. Stoked to the ride for such an awesome brand that puts uh, so much engineering and design work into their stuff. Yeah, We The People is the best company ever in the world. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Grant's wrapping up building his brand new network frame. Just want to say if you're interested in anything that we talked about today, there's more information on WeThePeopleBMX.de as well as We The People's Instagram and my Instagram at DanCrookBMX. If you have any questions about anything, about the frame or anything, you could always hit me up. I usually answer my DMs. Grant, hurry up and build this thing so we can go ride.